find the brewery. Cause I, I do want to talk to. Hold on. What's this? Oh, I have a stash. What's in my stash? Okay, so that's my current inventory. That's my stash. Okay. Okay. Can I? What can I do you for? I want to talk to this guy. Can I not talk to this guy? Nope. I guess not. I guess I have to. Uh... If I was a brewery, where would I be? I'm guessing this is the brewery. Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. Now I've even worn out my special group. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted. Some of your food? Of course. I'll pay, I'll pay full price. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on them and discount they feel so entitled to and if you refuse i make meals no trouble hmm. how did you end up in chain scrape heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier where there's a town there's a tavern i was in need of work so i got myself out here and started cooking that's totally what i would do in a post-apocalyptic world i would make an awesome place to eat because anyway, everyone needs I food, do, right? I love cooking. Back. Make some good money, or whatever, you know, I could do. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special group, Griddle, is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile, if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Well, Thanks, I'll keep pretty good mind. at hunter-gathering. So that's what gratitude sounds like. Then don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. I'll kick their ass for you, boy. You my, you, you my man now. Well, you're my boy now. Like, okay, is she around here somewhere? She's gotta be, right? I thought she was gonna be in the brewery. That's the whole reason I came to the brewery. So I could talk. Oh, what's this? Come to revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. I was just. Passing by, I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh 
original straight out of the Forbidden West. And that's how they get you. They give you it free the first time and then they jack up the prices. Alright, I will play your game, girl. Alright, beginner's tutorial. Beginner set. Start challenge. Right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that machine strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine. And each machine is worth a different number of victory points. To win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying okay. the opponent's machines. All right. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That yes. how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Okay. The notes also tell you how far a piece can move. All right. How powerful their attacks are. Okay. The distance they can strike from. Okay. And of course, their health. All right. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I right. own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Okay. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. Remember, okay. each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Move that machine forward. It's all part of the learning process. That's what I was doing. Gotta move that machine forward. Just need to um, move that machine forward, Red. That's what I thought I was doing. Okay, use the, the tap select turn that should be moved. Okay, so do I have to move two sp two spaces then? Easy enough. Okay. Right? Now you get to move. That's confusing because I could have moved two. I was trying to move to the right. Okay. I have to do what it wants me to do. do for now, so just end your turn. Okay. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. That's what I was trying to do. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A mach and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. Oh god, and there's your terrains. Your machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Okay. Did you get all that? Yeah. Yes. I knew you were a smart one. Nope. Finish up by attacking my machine. That's what I'm trying to do. You're not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn. Okay. 
I don't think I'll ever play this game, but I mean, it's interesting. I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Okay. Move shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there, and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those, and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Okay, rotate. Now let that machine... Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. Okay. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, it's not a confusing game, but These are all it's gonna take me to it. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike cards. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn the game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials. I have no you. idea if I'm going to do this at all. You might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know, I've lost my fair share of pieces after <laughs> night of machine hunting or brew hopping. <sighs> no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Mm -hmm. I bet you just happen to now, have a bunch of pieces. If you feel like playing a pieces. real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. Oh, think about it. Hmm. Don't be a stranger. I don't know if I'll ever play that game, but uh, you know. All right, I heard her say my name. Oh, there she is. You couldn't resist some good come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Oh, I'll drink with Petra. Fire and spit. That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin greeting the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! <laughs> ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're excused, dick. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. They probably did. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. 
Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. Of course He's he hoping has. to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. <sighs> so they're the Nazis of this world. They're the Nazis of this world. Okay. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Hmm. So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew the building barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Hmm. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's why. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make, make him richer than a rich, scrapper in a yeah. junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. I mean, he keeps up the it's not a terrible plan if you're that kind of human being. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. I'm glad I Thanks came to talk to Petra. Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, time here. Well actually worth finding out finding out some info on so I'm glad I I'm glad I decided to stop by but now I gotta go now I gotta get going just drop down here fuck it a melee pit uh, no thank you. I'm not in the mood for a melee pit. I kind of just want to get going. We are on the same side here, Ova. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Alright. Can I... I already have ten. Okay. Ooh, that must be one of those new machines. Let me. If I find where these machines are made, where are you off to? Very. Sorry. Something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the tripwires! Okay. Nope, you didn't see a sh fucking thing. I need to. I don't want 
want the acid rounds, I want the regular ones. Why kill it like that? What do you think the trip wires are for? Cause I killed the way I wanted to kill. No oh, shit. Shit. No, 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 no. You didn't see shit. Come on. Keep going. <laughs> Just like I thought. Okay. Are any more? Doesn't look like it. My rock. Some medicinal stuff. Turn this oh shit, there was another one. And there's something in my way. Handy, but she hunts a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper, like. To see you're a practice hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah. Apparently. Just a ago, down that bristleback headed south. And then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. You're gonna go chasing across the daunt. I'm gonna want a trip caster. Oh, I love the trip caster. Any trip caster. One of mine make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. I like the trip caster. Did something happen in I didn't use it a lot in my first time playing <laughs> Someone. Uh, Zero Someone Dawn, but the this second time I played through Zero Dawn, I used it and my god, it, I don't know why Scrape. I never used that. That and the what rope the caster. Especially against Thunderjaws. Oh. Place in town. Took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no. I didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Okay. Shoot, there we go. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got in all sorts of trouble. There was this one time. That... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. Just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by I bet they do. Try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. Well, the hunting grounds are back. So Aaron headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Can I pick up the trip caster ammo? Okay. So, 
head south. So I guess I head this way. Oh, I'm supposed to search for his tracks. Okay. That rock looked like that's something I could collect. Oh. There's, there's a rock. I, I want to pick up the rock. Give me the rock. Thank you. Sorry you had to die, raccoon, but I need your meat. This is not look good at all. Can't override that now. Sounds like someone's playing it there. That should be enough wild meat for another. Oh shit. Kick some ass, boy. Another one down. Now this, this is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. <laughs> no boring mid-afternoon patrols. That's right. You kicked that machine's ass. Back. Okay. I guess there must be a wild boar. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. Bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. You stay away. No. Oh shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. No, stay away. Stay away. Nobody likes you. Yeah, you can you can fuck right off. Smash them good. Oh. 
No! Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No. No, no, no. Move! Move, Aloy! Ah! Barely missed it. my favor at all no oh, god damn it move 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 fuck into that. That was... I could have done a lot better. Hold on. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna get this thing over here, though. I can see green shiny, I need green shiny. Alright. It's that simple. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. It's probably like raw blaze or something. I took another one out around here somewhere, didn't I? Is that the one I took out? Earlier? Probably. Ooh, there's red. Hold on, there's red glowy stuff now. Okay, coil is in my inventory. Um, I was hoping I could get the red shiny. Can I not get the red shiny? Nope, I cannot get the red shiny. Oh, well, that just that just makes me sad. <sighs> I really wanted the red shiny. 